Hi everyone, in the previous video we learned about uh, displaying all of the posts in the front end with React and these are all the posts being displayed with the help of WordPress REST API and we had created a custom endpoint uh, which is helping us fetch all of this data, post data onto the front end and in this video we are going to go ahead and create pagination. So what we are going to do is in order for us to create pagination we basically want to have a, a specific pattern as well, not just the page numbers, right? So if we take a look at the 2019 theme uh, from WordPress, uh, you can see that this is how the pagination is, which means that if the page counts are large in number, we don't want to be displaying all of the page numbers here, but put a dot in between. And then we have the older and the previous post, older and the newer post, so we can also call it next and priv right so this is what we're trying to achieve now this is a theme that i've created uh, in with the help of frontity so it's you it's some, if you want to use frontity you can always uh, you know download this plugin uh, sort of download this theme and, and just uh, install it and use it okay uh, but just to give you an idea that this what this is what we're trying to achieve okay so let's have a look um what we're going to do is instead of you know making this component really big what we can do is we can create a directory called utils and which is this is where we're going to keep all of our functions that we are going to probably reuse as well so we can name it as functions.js and then we're going to create a function and we name the function as create pagination array so we basically going to create an array and it's going to take two arguments one is the current page we're going to need the current page and how many total pages are there so these two pieces of information is going to help us create the pagination array fine yeah so the array that we're going to create should be in pattern like let's say you have one and then probably you have like dot 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 or and two and then dot 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 and then probably like uh, nine and then ten etc okay this is the kind of an array that we want to create so in order for us to do that uh, we're going to need to define some of the variables first so we'll first create an empty array so we'll call it as loopable array okay and this is what we're going to return eventually so if we want we can just return loopable array okay and then we also need the count of dot items okay and then we're going to start uh, you know putting all of the data into the loopable array but before that we'll first check if there is only one page if there's only one page then there's no point doing pagination right so all we can do is just check if the total number of pages is one then just return the loopable array which means return empty we don't want to create pagination in that case right uh, in case uh, also what we need to do is push the two index items before the current page in case if we have uh, the two index items available before that so we can say if current page minus two is greater than zero which means let's say you are on a page number three okay so there will obviously be page two and page one so in that case what we want to do is before the current page i want to push that one and two right so we can say loopable array so first we're going to push uh, the two so we'll say current page minus two 
and then we'll paste uh, we'll push the page one as well so we'll say less than current so this is just an example i'm giving you this will be dynamic okay okay and if it's so if there's uh there's one available then we can just say loopable array current page minus one so just, let's uh, let me just give you an example so let's say we the current page was three okay so there will obviously be one and two before that so what i'm trying to do is uh, over here i'm trying to push the two and then i'm trying to push the one right so that's how we create the left part of the array okay before the current page and then we also need to push this current page as well which is this number right here so what we're going to do is let's say push the current page index so we'll say loopable array dot push current page okay so so far we've got this one two and three okay now next thing we do is push the two two items after this right so let's say if there was four and five so let's push them so we'll say push two index items after the current page so what we're going to do is we'll just go ahead and uh, so I'm just putting this example to tell you what we have reached so far. So oh, up until here, we have reached at this point. Here we are pushing the third item. So you've reached till this point. And over here, we want to push these two as well. Okay. So again, we will check if total pages is greater than or equal to current page plus one. So that means that whatever the total pages are, if it's greater than, uh, you know, the current page plus one, which means it, total pages is greater than four or higher, then push this item after that. Okay, so we'll say loopable array dot push current page plus one. Okay, similarly, I'm just going to copy this thing. If it's current page plus two, then push current current page plus two. Okay, so in this case, current page will be three, right? The three plus one, four. So we push four. Then this will be three plus two, which is five. So now we have pushed these two items as well. So so far we've got this into our array. Okay. So if the array is quite long, we also want to push the dot 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 that we spoke about. So the first thing we'll do is we'll say push the dot 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 at the end of the array only if the difference between the last and the second item is greater than one right so if the difference between the last item okay so let's check that so if one is less than total pages minus loopable array and we want the index loopable array dot length minus two minus count of dot items so we remove the count of dot items from the array to get the actual index while checking the condition okay then in that case we just do loopable array dot push dot 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 okay okay so this means that if the difference between the last item which is this item and the difference between the second item is greater than one that means we need the dot 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 right uh, and we need to put the dot 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 or put it at the end basically okay so let's continue now we also need to push first index item 
in the array if the if it does not already exist okay so we'll do if minus one loopable index of one okay so if the first element is not found uh, the first index item is not found then go ahead and push that loopable array dot unshift so this is going to put that in the as the first item one okay and what we also want to do is we need to push the dot 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 at the beginning of the array if the difference between the first and second item is greater than one so if the difference between these two is greater than one so if this was for example four then we need to put the uh, dot dot at the beginning of the array okay so let's do that so i'm just going to put that on top right here we'll say push the dot 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 at the beginning of the array only only if the difference between the first and the second item is greater than one okay so for that what we're going to do is we'll say if yep if one greater than loopable array and we'll get the first item minus one and then we'll say loopable array dot unshift unshift is going to put that in the as a first item push that in as a first item and count of dot items will be just increment that one to one okay and the last thing we need to do is we need to push the last index item in the array if it does not already exist exists okay so if loopable array dot index of total pages okay if that is not found okay if uh, if that is not found then just push it loopable array dot push total pages Awesome. So now what we're going to do is we'll just call this function to check if you're actually getting the data that we actually need. Okay. So what we'll do is we'll go to posts. This is where we have the pagination, I believe. Yep. This is where it is. And then I'm going to do just call this function inside of pagination, actually. Pagination is where we want to display all of the data. So I'm just going to go to layouts, pagination, and just call that function right here. Okay. So we'll say const pagination array is equal to, let's import it first. So create pagination array. And we're going to need to pass the uh, current page as well as the total number of pages. So if you remember, we had already passed all of this information from here. So let's just pull it from props so const so current page I'll pull the function set current page as well and total pages and we're pulling that from props so all we need to do is just pass cut pass the current page and the total pages okay and let's just console to see what we get pagination array refresh inspect element there you go so you've got one two three and then dot 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 and then you have the nine right the total there are nine pages and we are not going to show all of them it's just that when user clicks on the next and previous page we're just going to keep shifting these uh, dependent on you know how or which page he's currently on okay awesome so since we've got the array now uh, all we have to do is just show all of this uh, pages and also the previous and next down at the bottom so in the next video we're going to go ahead and do that all right i'll see you in the next take care bye